So um, for this lesson master, we're just going to be practicing a little bit more with our uh, four theorems as well as the trig identities. So number one says the point one zero is rotated around the origin so that the cosine is negative eight seventeenths. We have to remember where is cosine negative and remember that cosine is my x coordinate. So it's negative on this side of the unit circle. In what quadrants would it lie then? That's in quadrants 2 and 3. Find all possible values of the sine of theta. When these two quadrants, sine is the y coordinate. In quadrant 2, sine is positive. And in quadrant 3, sine is negative. So I know that I have to have a positive and a negative answer. And now I'm going to use my Pythagorean identity theorem. Cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. Let's see, the cosine is negative 8 seventeenths plus sine squared equals 1. So I get 64 divided by, let's see, 17 squared is 289 plus sine squared equals 289 over 289. Okay. I'm going to subtract the 64 289ths. So I've got room. I'll show that step. These cancel, and I get sine squared equals 289 minus 64 is 225. 289 ninths. Okay, take the square root. I do want plus or minus. Square root of 225 is 15. Square root of 289 is 17. Okay. All right, let's go to number two. Sine of theta is the square root of 17 over 7. Got to think about this. Sine is y. Y is positive up here. Cosine up here, the x coordinate is positive here and negative here, so plus or minus. Tangent is positive here and negative here, plus or minus. And I've got to find it. Once again, I'm going to use my Pythagorean identity theorem over here, got cosine squared of theta plus sine squared, let's just go ahead and do that, 17 over 7 squared equals 1. Cosine squared of theta plus square root of 17, when you square root is 17, 7 squared is 49, it's got to be 49 over 49. Subtract the 17 49ths from both sides. And I get 32 forty ninths. And I take the square root, cosine of theta equals the square root of 32 over 7. Or the best answer would be to reduce the square root of 32. The square root of 32 is 16 times 2. 16 is a perfect square. 4 square root of 2. So plus or minus 4 square root of 2 over 7. The tangent is sine divided by cosine. So do that over here. Sine um, divided by cosine, sorry, is the tangent. Sine is square root of 17 over 7 divided by 4 square root of 2 over 7 means I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so I've got square root of 17 over 7 times 7 over 4 square root of 2. The 7s cancel, and I'm left with the square root of 17 over 4 square root of 2. don't like that square root of 2 in the bottom, so I'm left with on top the square root of 34 and square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 
So I'm left with square root of 34 over 8. Square root of 34 over 8. Okay? Okay, let's go to number 3. Cosine of theta is uh, positive square root of 68. Cosine is x. x is positive over here. Okay? So for letter A, let me draw my little picture here. Let me draw letter A. Um, opposite of theta means move up and down, up and down, which means I stay right where I am. So it stays positive 0.68. For this one, pi minus theta means move side to side. So in both of these instances, cosine becomes negative 0.68. All right, and lastly, number four. We are told what sine is, and it's in the third quadrant because pi is 180, 3 pi over 2 is 270. So we are in quadrant 3 for this problem. So draw that, quadrant 3. This means move, add pi, move halfway around the circle, so I go diagonal. Sine is positive here, so 0.368. All right, let us see. Start in that third quadrant again. Opposite of theta means, means move up and down. So I did that. And cosine is still, it's going to be negative there. But I got to find cosine. So I'm going to use my Pythagorean identity theorem. So cosine I don't know. Sine is um, negative 0.368 squared plus 1. So cosine squared of theta plus, when I square that, I get 0.135. 424 equals 1. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. And I get the cosine squared equals, when I subtract that on my calculator, I get 0.864576. Take the square root. I only need the negative answer. And I get 0 0.930. Tangent. Again, here I am. This means move side to side. Tangent in this quadrant is negative. And tangent is sine over cosine. So it's 0.368 divided by 0 0.930. And I get 0.396.